going on, guys? Well, we'll go to fighting secrets again. Today, we're going to be talking about the importance of planning. All of you military guys out there, both current and former, definitely know how very important planning is to the success of any operation. <clears throat> but how often do we really sit down and think about planning in our own personal lives and how crucial, how vital it is to plan out in detail, in some cases, our own success in our personal lives. That's what we're going to be talking about here today. That's something that interests you. Stick with me. What's going on, Warriors? Quick commercial interlude for you here. I'll keep it very brief because I don't like commercials either. But if you like this channel, consider subscribing to us. Help boost us up in the algorithm so we can get this message out to people that need it. Also, if you really like the channel, you can consider joining as a member. All right. What you get out of that, you get members only videos. You get direct access to me. You also are going to get a lot of free stuff. We're going to ship you out, send you out on us, on the house, stuff with like gutter fighting secrets logos on it, overstock shit that we have. It's a great deal, honestly. Um, as you guys know, or may or may not know, it does get a little bit expensive running a YouTube channel. You know, my ad revenue very much doesn't pay for like microphones and other things that we need for the channel like cameras here and there and stuff like that. So every single uh, dollar that we get from our members really does count. And it honestly does go back into the channel. I always feel awkward asking people for money and stuff like that. I always think selling someone a product is a fair trade. But when I'm coming on here and having to say, hey, like, can you join the channel? I don't like it, but it is necessary at this point. So if you can afford it, if it's within your means, consider it. Otherwise, Please just help support us in any way that you can, and it's deeply appreciated. Help us get this message out there so that we can raise up more warriors out there, and those warriors can raise up more warriors, and we can ultimately fight the new world order. All right, guys, let's get back and talk about mission planning here and planning for success in our daily lives. All right, guys, so we're talking about planning. You know, the classic saying, proper planning prevents piss poor performance. Anybody who's ever been in any type of civil service or military service in general has definitely heard that one. And I'm sure a lot of a lot of you guys out there who haven't have heard that as well, right? Proper planning prevents piss poor performance. Well, that's not just for operations. That's not just for carrying out sneaky ninja stuff, right? That's for every single day. That's for our training. That's for our martial arts training. That's for our warrior development. That's for operation, certainly. And that's for our own personal lives as well. The success that we generate in our life, in some respect, comes from a well-laid plan. Sometimes you get lucky, and sometimes you just fall into things. That's great. Cool. But I like to generate a little bit more than just luck, which is why I always try to at least have a crude rough plan when it comes to where I want to go where I want to be, I would like to visualize it and I like to analyze it enough to where I have a crude roadmap to where I want to be going so that I can provide myself with what? Waypoints, checkpoints, call it waypoints along the way. There's a couple of directions that we can go with this. We can talk about our martial arts training we can talk about our personal lives, but I suspect we're going to hit both bases. Before we do that, I want to give you guys a little bit of a background to how I decided to make this video today. Last night, a girl that I'm seeing was texting me, and I'll leave names in everything else about her identity out of this. But she texted me late night and she was upset because she didn't feel like she was successful enough um, in life. She's she's younger, all right? I'm not going to tell you how young. Over 18, promise you that. She's younger, all right? Like some years younger than me. Huh? Huh? No, but she was honestly feeling... She was feeling like she should be further along in her life than she is, which isn't the case because at her age, most people are like, fuck it, just, 
just out of college, don't know what the hell's going on. But I I was listening to her. Um, hallmark of a, <laughs> by the way, gentlemen, hallmark of a, a good, uh, I don't know, partner, boyfriend, whatever you want to call it, is um, someone who will listen, listen, um, and speak less and listen more. I'm sure you guys know that, though. And she was saying that she didn't know where she was going, right? That was the theme. So I said, listen, I understand you want to be more successful. I understand that you don't feel like you're measuring up. What's your plan? And uh, it took her a second. She had to, uh, she had to admit, you know, I don't, I don't have a plan. I said, well, what's your plan, right? What is it? Well, she said, well, I can do this, right? And I'm going to leave the details out. She said, I could do this and this. I said, perfect, perfect. You want to do this? When are you going to sign up for it? When are you going to go through the program? If this special schooling is what you need to generate more of an income, to feel more successful, whatever, when are you signing up for it? Well, this and that and this and that, right? No, 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 I didn't ask you any of that. I said, when are you signing up for it? Let's make a plan. Long story short, because it's always a long story with women, right? Long story short, um, we decided that that's going to be her plan, is to work the job that she's working right now, generate the revenue and the income, take care of her mind and body. She's a jujitsu girl, right? So she's into fitness. And she likes Joe Rogan and all that stuff. So she likes taking care of her mind and body. I said, listen, focus on taking care of your mind and body now. You're going to focus on diet, training, all of that. We're going to focus on what you do now to bring in fairly good income, better than some. And we're going to, in the longer term, have this goal that your immediate goal is to sign up for this program. Once you're signed up for that program, you have a date for that program that you know your start. You have the roadmap. All you need to do is follow it. So that's a long-winded way of me kind of saying, this is my philosophy when it comes to planning in life for personal matters, right? And it's the same exact thing. Let's now take a, a military context. You guys know I'm, some of you guys know I'm on my last shepherd at one, my, my last semester at One Shepherd Warrior Leadership Academy. And, uh, this is where I'm stepping into a leadership role. My next semester will be either I'll be the um, platoon leader or assistant platoon leader, patrol leader. So it's all about mission planning at this point. For the past, I don't know, year, I've been studying mission mission planning. So, I mean, what does a leader do when he needs to make a plan, right? There's doctrine for this, specific military doctrine for this. And the first thing that a leader does when he receives an order is to make a tentative plan. Even before he makes a warno, right? I'm pretty sure, correct me if I'm wrong, you got your military guys do this more than me can correct me if I'm wrong, but I'm pretty sure before you even provide a warno, warno to your troops or to your guys, you make a tentative, tentative plan. That's like the first thing that you freaking do. I'm almost sure of it. So you make the plan, a tentative plan, right? It doesn't have to be like a whole drawn out thing. That comes later. But you make kind of a basic, like, let's get the idea of what we got to do here and like how we're going to get it done. And then we'll tell the guys about it. Well, in personal life, okay, like let's make an idea of like what we got to do, kind of like how we're going to get it done. Tentative plan, right? Okay, well, we know that, you know, in that case, she needed to go through a certain school. She needed to get this certain degree. Um, she knows that this is the way we sign up for it. Okay, boom, plan done. All right. We know that this and this and this also need to happen. Plan done. All right. Now we can give the warning. Now we're officially ready to begin our journey to work toward that plan. Now we can fill in the little bit of details that surround all of that stuff. But at least we have a map. Right. Say land navigation. Right. What do you do? You, All right. I need to go from here to here. What's the route that I'm going to take? Well, 
I need to go from here to here, but I want waypoints along here and here or rally points, right? I want a rally point here. And then it looks like over here on this little territory, you've got some good place for it. All right, rally point right there. And then again, those rally points can change terrain dictates, right? Like you might, you might kick off and then see like later on, well, you know, I thought the rally point should go here, but no, 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 no. We can't do it right here for whatever reason. We got to do it over here. All right. So the rally points can change, but you've got rough tentative ideas or crude ideas of where those rally points are going to be. So you map it out. And yes, you can slightly alter it along the route when you need to, right? Just in like in life, you could say, I need to go, you know, from working this shitty job to work in this better job over here. What do I need to do to get there? Well, I need to go through this program or I need to, you know, whatever, have this much experience. Okay. Let me start off doing that. But then oh, I find out that, you know what, I actually don't need that program. I need this one. So I change it up and I, I say, all right, I sign up for that one. Or I don't actually need that much experience. I need this much experience. So let me do this, right? So you get the idea, you get the picture, what I'm talking about here is that it's the same doctrine that we would use for mission planning that we can use to plan our own personal life. And even now let's kick it into our martial arts training, right? You guys know I'm um, training Lord willing at some point to step into a cage and fight some dude at some point, right? That's my goal, right? I want to go from here where I started doing mixed martial arts, um, I don't know, like seriously, like a year ago, to in this much time, say another year, step into a cage and win a cage fight. All right, well, what do I need to do that? I need jiu-jitsu, I need wrestling, I need, you know, more better boxing, right? So now I know like basically where I want, like what I need to accomplish, the skill sets I need to acquire. Now it's time for me to sit down and plan out my schedule, right? So, all right, Monday, I'm going to do jujitsu, no gi. Tuesday, I'm going to do boxing. Wednesday, I'm going to do wrestling, right? So that's my schedule. Now I have my schedule. You know, Thursday, this, Friday, that, weekend rest, whatever. Three days a week weights, diet plan like this. Boom, you've got the map. Now you're off. All you got to do is stick to that. And it makes it so much simpler. It makes it so much simpler when you've got everything planned out. You've got everything. All right, I need to go from here to here. These are the waypoints I want to see on my way. Like in my case, it will be, well, I want to get down to 185. Well, I want to know that you know, I'm good at takedowns. Um, yeah, I want to know that I can consistently beat other blue belts that are within my age and weight range, right? Things like this. This is how we win. This is how we win wars. This is how we win battles. This is how we win fights. This is how we win at life is planning. Once we have the map, once we have our route reconned and all of that, all we have to do is stick to it and follow it. All we have to do is stick to it and follow it. And that makes things so much simpler. Guys, I hope you like this video. I hope I didn't ramble too much. I know I kind of went from here to there. But I think I got the point across. Any questions, comments, concerns, drop them down below. I appreciate you guys. Consider subscribing if you like this channel. And I'll see you on the next video. Cheers. Bye.